Hey everyone, this is Faith here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be speaking to you about several items that I purchased from my favorite retailer, which you know is Aritzia. And uh, before we get started, I wanted to ask if you could please give my videos a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So the first item that I wanted to talk to you about is a t-shirt. Yay! And it's called the Lagarde t-shirt. Um, and it's from the group by Babaton and it is in the color called Wistful Mauve. Um, I bought it in a size small and the retail price is $35 and um, I actually, um, it has a detail on the back. As you can see, there's like a, um, a stitching. So I was kind of like, at first I was like, mm, I don't know. I, want, I like to see like simple things, but maybe this makes it unique. So um, I hope it doesn't like show through if I wear something over it, but um, I'll, I guess I'll try that out now. And uh, the other reason I like this um, t-shirt is because it's made of cotton, uh, well, a cotton blend. So, and I like to be very comfortable. I don't like itchy, strange fabrics and I like breathable fabrics. I tend to do, um, some workout sometimes and well moderate physical activity so anyway uh, and I like the sleeve it's not too short not too long I think it's perfect and it's kind of um, this t-shirt is kind of long as well so I'll show you in a minute what it looks like and uh, oh and the care instructions which I love to talk about because um, that can either make or break my uh, purchase um, so this one is actually very environmentally friendly. It's machine wash cold, gentle cycle, no bleach, tumble dry, low, low iron, or dry clean. So dry clean's an option, otherwise you can machine wash it. So that's a great part I like about this, and um, and it's cotton blend. Yay. Okay guys, so this is what that Lagarde t-shirt looks like. As you can see, it's pretty long, and it's a little bit thin material, so it does show like the waistband of my pants for example. Okay, so I just put on this Zlata sweater which is a, not the typical one that is made out of jersey fabric. This is like cotton blend um, which I love because it is so comfortable. You can just throw it in the machine and you can wash it and there's three-fourths you know um, bracelet sleeves. So I love this. I wear it all the time and the length is just so nice. It goes all the way to like the almost the back of my knees and um, it goes with everything. Um, I think there were only two colors available and I never got my hands on the, there was like a off-white beige or cream colored one and I only got like the black and I bought two and it was during the summertime so, and I never saw them again. So that's the thing with the Ritzio, sometimes they come up with like super stuff and then it just, once it's gone, it is gone. So um, I encourage you to, if you ever see something like this, um, buy it. <laughs> so. Uh, this is a Zlata sweater and I combined it with, again, that Lagarde t-shirt. Okay guys, so the next item that I wanted to show you is a dress. <gasps> and um, this one is by Little Moon and it is called the Verbena dress and they brought this back. Um, I've seen it another one last year and I loved that one. I had a video um, with a floor print again and it was like larger print and it was, I think, different colors like green, um, beige on a black background and it was so beautiful this one's black and white and it has like um, uh, like this leaf floral pattern it's so beautiful and I wore this to my uh, doctoral graduation yay so I was really happy and it went with like my whole entire sort of um, robe and and all that fancy stuff that I wore the hat and everything so it felt really good um, it has this like belt and everything but anyway let me just talk to you about um, all the uh, details first. So this one is uh, the Verbena dress and um, it is in the size, I purchased a small and it is uh, $188 and again it's by Little Moon and it has a button closure on the back and uh, what is, I'm gonna look for the, I'm gonna look for how to treat it. Care instructions. There they are, okay. Care instructions, it says is wash inside out, cover or remove buttons before cleaning, machine wash, cold gentle cycle separately um, only, non-chlorine bleach when needed, tumble dry, low, cool iron or only if needed or dry clean. 
So yay, it's environmentally friendly. It, that's an awesome option. And as you saw, um, it is lined except the sleeves, but the sleeves are print, so I don't mind. Um, and it's like, that makes it ble breathable. The other thing I loved about this is the elasticized sleeves. Look at that. Ah, oh, yay, I just love that. Um, then I don't have to button anything and it's not like there's no fuss. And it has this like um, cute little, look at this detail on the back. Like this is the back where the button is. And, and look at this, it's like this little frill thing. Oh, it's so beautiful, Fl flounce or frill or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it goes uh, across the front too. I just find that so cute. Anyway, let me try so it on. This thing. is that bourbon address and that I wore to my graduation. I posted pics on Instagram if you're wondering. And um, I love it. Um, this is where that tie belt comes in. And there's also an elasticized waist, so the you don't really need to tie. You can actually take it off completely. But um, it looks cuter if you have like something on your waist. It just looks nice. So um, there it is. Uh, and uh, again, it has pockets. Oh my god, I love that. Dresses with pockets are like I. They're so awesome. They're so useful. <laughs> so um, people like me like I, I like putting things in my pockets. So it's kind of. Um, this thing that I have. <laughs> but anyway, um, so as you can see, it's a crew neck and it has these little like tiers and it has that little flounce or whatever going at, uh, across the front. And then it has like uh, a tiered uh, sort of skirt part. And the sleeves are like so comfortable and flowy and this whole dress is so flowy and nice. Okay guys, the next item that I purchased is another dress. And this one's like a blue color and it has like, again, a floral, very petite floral print, which looks awesome on my petite frame. Uh, I love that. And it's better than like the, I think there was like this little fashion rule, not that I fa follow fashion rules, but um, maybe I do, okay. But anyway, it's supposed to be like, if you don't, you're not supposed to purchase like, um, if you're petite, apparently that if you, you're, you're the goal is to um, try to avoid prints that are like bigger than the palm of your hand so anything's like a huge like if it's the size of your hand then you don't want to like you don't want prints that big all over because it will just overwhelm um, the petite frame so I am like petite so um, I uh, like to go for you know like the the micro print and um, really like delicate prints so this just works out for me and it looks so nice and so elevated and so elegant um, again, it is. it has like an elasticized sort of waist and it has like these unlined sleeves that are so breathable and then the sleeves are, look, they're so cute, oh my god, elasticized, ah, oh, I love it. Um, there's no buttoning, no fuss. I wish all dresses were like that, you know, <laughs> but, um, and again, it has like a tiered sort of skirt portion. Um, it's lined again. This one's beautiful. So let me just talk to you about the name. I think I mentioned it already, but it's called again the Rosalind dress and this is the color pure indigo and I purchased a medium and the price point is 188 which is the same as the Verbena dress that I'm wearing right now. And uh, it's again, I think this one, so the one that I'm wearing is by Little Moon, but this one is from the Wilfred line. Now I could have bought a small, but I wanted to go up because I wasn't sure about this part of the uh, dress. It was like too, I felt like it was too constrictive in a small because it's sort of like, I don't know if you can see, but there's like, um, it's a strange fabric. It's like, it's very, um, elasticized but at the same time there's like stitching that goes across it so I wanted something more that's you know um, kind of comfortable not too like you know this one is sort of like loose but this one is not it's like it's more like it's structured it's very thick here this part the bodice I guess and it's almost like I don't want to say like a corset but it sort of reminds me of a corset because of the way it is but anyway it's not a corset it's not that constrictive but um I think I don't know, Wilfred, I usually go down a size, but this time I chose to go up. So we'll see. I think it's because also the, the length is too, like, high. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. But basically, it's like, I don't like things that sort of cut you on top if they're cropped too much. I like it when, you know, it sort of makes your waistline. I have a, sh I'm short-waisted. So I like things that make my waistline go, like, you know, like, drop waistline 
dresses and drop waist tops and things like that I like those so when I see something like um, the Verbena again it's like sort of similar that it, it it's sort of like um, it's kind of you know short waisted you can't really see but it's like only like you know right here right in the middle so I kind of would probably recommend that um, if you're uh, small waisted like I am then maybe try to avoid things like these or try not to you know maybe avoid the belt to em like not to emphasize that but anyway let me just show you what it looks like and then and then you can see for yourself okay guys this is that Rosalind dress and it is so pretty oh my gosh it's so feminine and sorry tags there <laughs> um, I haven't worn any of the these things so as you can see uh, like that this part again is very um, it's sort of like very, it frames that, you know, that bodice part that, so it's, um, it's beautiful, but at the same time, I, it's the same thing with a verbena where like, if it was just an inch, like that's exactly an inch for me, I can, I can tell you that. If it was an inch lower, I would have said that's a perfect point where the waist should go because on people like this, it just, like me, for example, it just, it doesn't, it's not flattering if it's that high. It makes it look sort of cropped and dresses aren't supposed to be cropped. I mean, if the blouse, I know it's like there's a blouse that's sort of like this and they just um, sort of maybe added the skirt to it, but I feel like no, it needs to be at least an inch longer for it to look like, you know, have a proper waist. But I mean, it's still beautiful, but maybe I'm just super picky. Sorry, Aritzia, you guys make the best stuff, but um, I'm just like, I'm super picky. <laughs> so, and I am like, it's, it's in my nature. I, 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 um, critique papers for a living, <laughs> critique research. So, um, so anyway, so this is, uh, what that dress looks like. Again, there's like this cute little tier that goes here across the front and, um, and then, uh, it's very flowy i just i love it it's just so feminine so beautiful and i wish they came out with more colors i think i'm glad i picked a medium because look how clingy it is i mean this is like super clingy so maybe go size up um, and maybe they should i don't know if they made a note that it's like it's so uh slim fitting so for this one, go, go with size guys, up. So the final item that I wanted to show you is a pair of pants. And these are my favorite cut. These are called the Cohen pants. And that is because they have like two pleats going at the front and then the pockets on the side. That makes it look so professional, so nice. Um, great for work. And I, um, but this fabric is Zotorado, which I'm not really a fan of that much. It's the same material that the co um, the Conans are usually made of, and also their Power Blazer, and also the Dexter Pants. So I mean, it's like um, matte on one side, and then it's like satiny on the other, and it believe me, it feels very luxurious and nice. But I'm sort of like a functional person, structural functional versus an utilitarian versus um, you know just having things to like you know, look or feel great. So, and these are like definitely dry clean only, whereas like the basket weave is something that I've, I've had for um, a few years now and I've tossed it in the machine on a very gentle cycle and, or I even hand washed the um, basket weave and it is like, it is so good. It is, it does not get bad. It is wrinkle resistant. This one gets wrinkled very easily. Um, so you have to steam it and um, if you take it off and if you like just throw it somewhere, it's gonna wrinkle. But whereas the basket weave is like so awesome, and people don't like the basket weave. I don't know, like they're sort of like, mm, no, I'm I'm very I think a lot and I think about the product. And this one is definitely it's very hard to um, decide. I know, but um, I don't know. I like the Cohen's. I like the Conans, but the material. Anyway, let's just go into this. Um, this Cohen pant, it's a mid-rise, and uh, so it's not high-waisted. Um, it has a slim leg, which I love, and it has an ankle length, and I'm petite, and it just is perfect on me. It's just like, I'm wearing a Cohen, sorry, Cohen right now, and this one's a basket weave. Um, you might wanna go down a size if they ever come out with basket weave again. Um, you might have to go down a size. Um, so, but for this one, you can, this is true to size. And so maybe that's where people, why people don't like the basket weave, I don't know. Um, people say that it's a summer fabric, but guess what? I wear it throughout the entire winter. I have another 
pair of um, Cohen pants. I'm gonna actually, let me grab them for you. Uh, this is them, um, actually. And uh, I've worn them so much. Like, I, the use I've gotten out of these Cohen basket weave pants is just amazing. And they do not wrinkle. If I can just do this, they won't wrinkle. Like, you can pack them to wherever you want, whichever destination, in a suitcase, you can put an anvil or a bowling ball on top of it and it's not gonna wrinkle. And that's why I love this basket weave. So Aritzia, if you're listening, please continue basket weave um, because it's awesome. And just tell people to size down. And that's the, that's the only thing. I guess people might not like them for that reason. So if they learn that, then that's fine. But back to the Torado, which I like. Um, I sort of like bought this because there were no basket weave options and I was like, I need more Cohen's. So I, I bought this one for work and um, the price point is, let's see, $148. I purchased a size six. Um, this is true to size and it's from the Babaton line. So you, um, there's no like, it's true to size and uh, yeah, hopefully by the time I wear it, it's not gonna wrinkle. And okay, you guys, so this is that Cohen pant in that color Lilouette. I don't know if I mentioned the color before, but anyway, it's Lilouette. And as you can see, it has those pleats at the front. It, some people don't like this. Yeah, this is why they like the Cohen's because um, this is sort of like that equestrian look where it has like, you know, those, um, that sort of loose fit here around the waist, but I like that. I feel like it looks very professional once you um, put on a suit, for example. It looks really nice to me, I don't know. I like the equestrian look. I like this sort of um, pleating at the front, that excess pleating, and uh, you can, I've tucked my shirt in. Um, there's an elastic waistband. Uh, it's flat at the front, and then the elasticized part is in the back. So, and it's like, um, it's nice, I like it. And, but I, I don't know, the fabric is like something that, I don't know, I like the basket weave. Maybe I'm spoiled, maybe the basket weave spoiled me. So we'll see. Um, this is super nice too. Um, it feels great. It's like it's such a luxe feeling um, to have like that satiny sort of um, pant. It's like wearing pajamas really. Um, who wouldn't want to feel like they're wearing pajamas to work? Like, that's awesome. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.